In this pencast, we're going to be talking about graphing conic sections. So the first problem says, graph the ellipse with the equation y plus 1 squared over 64 plus x minus 5 squared over 28 equals 1. Alright, so the first thing we know is that the larger denominator is going to represent a squared. So since 64 is greater than 28, we know that 64 is equal to a squared. Okay, so from this information, we can then write our general form. So we're going to have y minus k squared over a squared plus x minus h squared over b squared equals 1. Okay, and we know that our center is going to be at h comma k. Our vertices are going to be at h comma k plus or minus a. And our co-vertices are going to be at h plus or minus b comma k. Alright, so our goal is going to be to find the vertices, co-vertices, and center, and then graph. So the first step in doing this is solving for a and b. So we know that a squared is equal to 64. So we're going to go ahead and take the square root of both sides. And we're going to end up with a is equal to 8. We can do the same thing with b. b squared is equal to 28. Take the square root of both sides. And if you go ahead and put the square root of 28 in your calculator, you're going to get about 5.29. Alright, so from this information, we should be able to calculate our vertices. So our vertices are going to be at 5, comma, negative 1 plus 8, and 5, comma, negative 1 minus 8. That's the same as 5 comma 7 and 5 comma negative 9. Alright, so our co-vertices according to our equation are going to be 5 plus 5.29 comma negative 1 and 5 minus 5.29 comma negative 1. So if we simplify that, we get 10.29 comma negative 1 and negative 0 0.29 comma negative 1. Alright, so now the last thing we need is the center. So that's the easiest part. So the center is just h comma k. So if we go back to our original equation, we can see that h is going to be 5 and k is going to be negative 1. So our center is just 5 comma negative 1. So now we're ready to graph. All right, so let's start by graphing the center at 5 comma negative 1. So we go over 5 and then down negative 1 right here. And then we're going to graph the vertices at 5, 7, which is right here and 5, negative 9, which is right here. So let's label those. 5, 7, and 5, negative 9. Alright, and our center is 5, negative 1. Alright, so then our co-vertices are going to be at 10.29, comma, negative 1, which is right here and also over here which is negative 0 0.29 comma negative 1. Alright, so now we can connect those vertices Alright, and that is the graph of our ellipse. The second problem says, graph the hyperbola with the equation x squared over 64 minus y squared over 49 equals 1. Alright, 
So we start out the same way. We know that the larger denominator is going to represent a squared. So we see that 64 is greater than 49. So 64 is equal to a squared. All right. So now we know we have an equation in the form of x squared over a squared minus y squared over b squared equals 1. And we also know that the length of the transverse axis, transverse axis is 2a. And this is important because the vertices are at the end of the transverse axis. Okay, good. So we know that the center of this hyperbola is going to be at 0, 0 because there's no h or k in our equation. We can find the vertices by using what we know about the transverse axis. So we know that the length of the transverse axis, let's call that L sub t, is equal to 2a. Okay? So first we need to solve for a. So we know that 64 is equal to a squared, which as we can see above means that a is equal to 8. So that means the length of the transverse axis is 2 times 8, which is equal to 16. All right, so if we know that our center is at 0, 0, and the length of our transverse axis is 16. We know that the endpoints have to be on either side of that transverse axis. So they have to be negative 8 comma 0 and 8 comma 0. The other thing that we need to know in order to be able to graph this hyperbola is the equation for the asymptotes. So we know that the asymptotes of a hyperbola have the equation y equals plus or minus b over a x. Alright, so we already know what a is. So we know that b squared is equal to 49, which means that b is equal to 7. So now when we know what a and b are, we know that the asymptotes are going to be y equals plus or minus 7 eighths x. So now we should be ready to graph. All right, so let's start by graphing the center at 0, 0. And then the vertices, which are going to be at 8, 0, and negative 8, 0. All right, so now we need to graph the asymptotes. So if we graph y equals plus 7 eighths x, then to graph that, we know that it's going to start at 0, 0, because 0 is the y-intercept, and then we're going to go to the right 7 and up 8. So that's about right here. So with that point in 0, 0, we should be able to draw the line. So we're going to draw these dashed lines in, since they're asymptotes. All right, and that represents y equals 7 eighths x. All right, so for y equals negative 7 eighths x, when we go 8, 7 to the right, we need to go 8 down. So that's going to be a point like right here. And that's also going to cross 0, 0. So we can go ahead and draw that line in. Okay, and that represents y equals negative 7 eighths x. All right, so now in order to finish graphing this equation, all we have to do is start at the vertices and go towards the asymptotes, since we know that asymptotes are lines that graphs approach but never hit. So if we start at the vertice, we're going to go towards the asymptotes like this. And the same thing on the other side. And that's how you graph that hyperbola.